I guess one last thing I want to touch on is your desktop stuff. You've got these... You guys actually make cases for your, your system. Like, these aren't just, like, cases that are just out there. So, what is even the process of, like, getting a case like this made? And you also sell cases separately now as well. Yeah. Um, all right. So, there's there's actually a nice video on I think it's on the Thalia page or this mm -hmm. manufacturing page. Um, so, so... It's it's quite uh, I I think one of the re another reason that we're building Cosmic is because we're we're just addicted to making things I think so I, I think that's a healthy thing some people think it's bad for you I, I, but it's what we we love and mm -hmm. the, the same goes for hardware so the desk Thaleo desktop comes in as a flat piece of metal mm -hmm. it goes on top of a laser that clamps it and then drags it across the laser and, and punches and lasers features out of the metal. It goes through a sander and then a brake that bends it and, and puts it into shape. Um, uh, it, goes, and it goes into a powder room where everything's painted. Uh, uh, and then uh, there's folks that assemble everything together. Um, QC processes along the way. And then there's a pre-assembly where fans and things that are coming across all of them are installed. Um, and, then, uh, and then there's the next step where um, the customer's order has come in, and they have specifics about the you know, drive and CPU and so forth. And then that uh, then that all gets assembled and it's boxed and shipped to the customer. So it's a flat piece of shiny aluminum mm -hmm. that, at the end of the day, is a desktop we ship out of the door, fifty feet from the one that it came in at. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the video right now. The, I think I don't know how many times you've watched the video because you basically got like piece for piece as the video was going <laughs> well i built the factory well yeah no i'm, I'm sure yeah. but like, you just yeah. got every step of the video like basically really as, the, as the image appeared on the screen by, by myself and john and uh a few other people mm -hmm. um there were about four of us mm -hmm. that put the whole damn thing mm -hmm. <laughs> and we never wow. built the factory before and so, um, so yeah, it was it was an absolutely incredible life experience to build to build that, um, and now it has an amazing team that that uh, runs it. It makes it much better than we what we uh, we, like I said, we never done it did it before, and we were terrible. There were things that we did that were stupid, <laughs> and they were terrible, but um, uh, but they got us there, and they got us shipping product, and um, you know now it has a real professional team, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're and they're. Uh, uh, you know, continuously improving the product that we're delivering and the way that we're delivering it, and um, uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a it's pretty pretty cool thing. I know people had asked for the cases to be sold separately for a long, long time. I found posts going back like, like basically since you started the desktop because they are really nice cases. What yeah. were the challenges in actually selling a case by itself? Because I'm I'm sure. That yeah. has different like manufacturing level, like a, a, a order volume. Maybe I'm not sure how I would have, how I would say it. Also, they're slightly different cases yeah. as well. They're actually the exact same. Well, they don't have the it's, wood panel on the front. The, the wood. Yeah, panel. just a different accent. So mm. that accent is is uh, exchangeable. Right. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So um. So it's really the same product, but um, what we, well, so our motivation one was just to enable people to use the things that we're making this open hardware and. Mm -hmm. um, Make their own things with it, um, mm -hmm. whether it's the like SATA backplane. We have an I/O board that's um, that controls the fan curves inside the system. That's how we we keep them quieter. Than we have more information than the motherboard does about what's happening in the thermally. Mm -hmm. And so by taking that off, we can make better fan curves, create better performance. But you know, anyway, it just enables people to use this stuff to make things with. Mm -hmm. With the case, in, um, it made Thaleo far better when we built a case that was general purpose. Right. Because instead of only thinking about the things that we put in it, mm -hmm. we have to think about what was anyone might put in it. How do you fit a 490 and, in a computer uh, case? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, um, I mean, we never on our ATX size case, none of the, none of the motherboards in our four years of manufacturing paleo needed the top slot cut out. Mm. Ever okay because the because the position of the PCI slot um, was one below. Well, other older motherboards do have a higher PCI slot. Uh, 
that we didn't catch that until too late, and then we had to fix it. <laughs> but like, but ultimately, what that what that means is because we are servicing customers that are using it as a case, all of our customers that are getting it at Staleo are getting a better product. Sweet. Yeah. I know you said you had to go around this time, but there's one last question, uh, unless you're still good for time. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I can, I can go uh, maybe another 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Um, sweet. Well, I, I was going to ask you, I'm sure that you've got your pick of hardware. Like you, you could probably use anything you wanted from the lineup, but what do you personally run yourself? Uh, right now I'm on a Thaleo. Okay. I, I really like, I really like the small form factor mm -hmm. desktops. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm not, I actually don't, I don't game much on my desktop. I'm a, I'm a couch gamer. And so I'm, some Jeremy hates me for that, but, <laughs> but it's, it's just the truth. I work all day on a computer and I just want to be away when it's the gaming time. Yeah, that's so, understandable. So that's, uh, uh, so that's where I'm at on that. Um, so I don't need a 4080 for 99. Sure, sure. Um, and for a laptop, I use a Darter. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's I use either a Lemur or a Darter. Um, the Lemur is uh, that's our ultra portable, ultra, me, ultra portable fourteen inch. So it's really thin and like it's just it's nice traveling. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm also finding I kind of like a little bit bigger display. And so you know, an interesting fact from the uh, PC industry: a lot of folks f uh, think that uh, like smaller laptops are most popular. Actually, 15 inch is the most popular size by far. I've used a 13 inch display, and my eyesight's pretty good, but like 13 inch is a little rough. I feel like I need yeah. to use zoom on a lot of things, and you don't, you know, 1080p, you don't really have that much screen real estate to start zooming everything. Right. Yeah, so, uh, I have kind of moved more to 15 inch when I used to always like the smaller, mm -hmm. smaller laptops. Um, I also really care about open firmware. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's another reason I use the Darter. I also remap my keys because I want control where the caps lock is. I like super next to my space bar. I, you know, I do, I, li I like to remap my keys. You can do that on our open for firmware laptops and on launch. So, and I like my launch to match as close as I can to my laptop. So that's, that's why I use uh, the Darter. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, you mentioned the control caps lock thing. Look, I don't, I don't know why caps lock key exists. We don't need it. Get it, get rid of it. Delete it. Remove it. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, I, I agree. Um, I, I used to put function there actually, mm. but then, uh, uh, but then I moved. Then I changed it to a, to control. Which kind of changed my life because uh, <laughs> control C V J K L and all of those things that I use a lot. Uh, it's just I'm all I'm on the same road. It's <laughs> that's great. Uh, so the other thing with with Cosmic and our UX, the super key next to the space bar is really big. The reason for that <laughs> is that instead of like contorting your fingers anywhere to get to it, you move your thumb over a little bit. And you uh, use your thumb to hit the super key. And that changed my life when I learned that one <laughs> because um, I use my thumb to launch applications. I use, it's, a, it's your strongest digit and um, it's much better than kind of contorting fingers to get to uh, control or super or other things. So uh, that's why we put super next to the space bar on, uh, on the launch keyboard. I'm just trying it out now. Yeah, I've got my, my alt is next to my space bar, but if those were mm -hmm. swapped, that actually would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, and you probably don't use alt much, and so uh, you end up not using your thumb. I have um, two key macros, so but I don't use alt separately. Okay. It'll be like super and alt. So if they're swapped, it would not affect me at all. I just press them both anyway. Right, mm. yeah. So yeah, mine is uh, super and then function is next to that. Right, okay. Because I use the second layer. And um, yeah, my my keyboard doesn't have a function. This is a yeah. That's, I don't you have the alt. Actually, no. The function's on the other side. Yeah, the it's on the yeah. other side of the space bar. I don't know what the deal is. This is a Logitech keyboard. Um, okay. This, this guy. Oh right. Yeah. Um, it's got a it's got a uh, volume wheel on it. I really like it. I can just go woo and volume just changes up. <laughs> Very convenient. I can't buy a keyboard without having that now. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, our our volume controls are under the function row. 
Mm. It's function page up, page down to get to those. Logitech really likes adding like free scrolling wheels to everything though. So like they have a bunch yeah. of mice with free scrolling wheels. They have this keyboard free scrolling wheels. It's, it's sort of their thing yeah. at this point. Yeah. I like it. It's nice. I, I kind of, yeah. I kind of wish more keyboards had them, but I don't know if Logitech, yeah. I would assume Logitech has some sort of patent on free scrolling wheels. I, it, it wouldn't surprise sure me. Not. 